As the prophet of esports, I rely on trustworthy and meaningful data every day. Data from our research partner, YouGov, offers the most complete view of esports fans and gamers in the world, providing context to who they are, what they think, the brands they buy, and things they do. YouGov's connected insights and research services inform strategy at every level. If you're a team, a brand, agency, or rights holder, you should be talking with YouGov. Their partners measure and maximize ROI and are telling compelling stories with data. Visit yougov.com slash gaming dash esports to learn more. YouGov also did a report on the most popular categories of mobile games. Okay. Um, anyone have a sense of what was number one, number one category in mobile games? So like just to give you a, like some of the, of the, the options, action games, adventure games, puzzle games, board games, strategy, what they call battle card or collectible card games. Um, puzzle. Puzzle number if one. Can, does Candy Crush? Yeah, like Candy puzzle? Crush. <laughs> yeah. Puzzle is number strategy? one by a long shot. Yeah. Almost 2x the, the, next, the next biggest category of mobile game. 17% of U.S. adults play what they call a puzzle or breakout game uh, on their phone. Uh, anyone know what was dead last on the list? Interest. This was surprising to me. What was dead last on the Can list? Can you say them again, really quick? Really quick. Puzzle, sure. uh, action, adventure, hidden object, simulation, board games, strategy games, casino games, and battle card slash collectible card games. Simulation. That sounds hard. Yeah, I was going to say simulation or adventure. Um, inter this was surprising to me. Battle card games slash collectible card games was oh, wow. dead last only four percent of u.s adults and it's interesting considering runeterra's popularity and things like that and, and it makes me think mate like the 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 hearthstones the magics the you know right. these things that you think maybe are best suited to a mobile platform because you don't need crazy good graphics and you know it's sort of relaxing to sit on the couch and play one of these games those are the ones that are the least played on mobile. Um, hmm. So maybe that speaks more to the casual audience of them. Yeah, of maybe they're games. too cerebral or something, too like too yeah. heady of games to really get into on your couch or something. Um, and then I just wanted to I, I want to do one last stat hmm. here from the same mobile mobile report, uh, and this is the difference in mobile gaming consumption between men and women in the U.S. Um, for puzzle games, can can anyone guess sort of the ratio of of men to women playing puzzle slash what they call puzzle slash breakout games. 30% men, 70% women. Yeah, I'd say the same. Stop. That's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah, so I'd like say almost, the same. almost like two to one. Yeah. I, I, I'm going to go like 50 50 on this. It's almost two to one. Darn. I just, I just <laughs> guess to be different, to be clear. I just guess to be different. It's 22% sure. of all women and only 12% of all men. So it's, it's almost double. Um, interestingly enough, the one that was closest, so where the, the percentage of men and women was closest, was adventure games. I don't know why that one uh, had, was most Do you have like, like a was. Example title for an adventure game? Like, I can't think of one off the top of my head even. Um, I'm trying to see if they name specifics. Uh, I think they do here. I wonder what, like, um, like puzzle was, was obviously like they named candy crush saga bejeweled action games. They gave some examples like subway surfers cut the rope is Pokemon uh, go an adventure game. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hmm. I see. Um, but I did think it was interesting that that was the one where, uh, the male female, um breakout was closest um some interesting uh stats there as always guys from yougov go give them some love as always uh yougov.com slash gaming dash esports uh if you want to check out this report that i was referring to there's a ton more data in there about demographics age groups male versus female types of mobile games a whole bunch of stuff in there uh, and many other free reports, yougov.com 
slash gaming dash esports.